So log stash, this is in the tactical folder, Ruby. In your tools, you almost always have a fallback capability. In log stash, if there's something I wanna do and it doesn't support it, I can natively call Ruby code. So in this one, I'm just doing a simple calculate the length of whatever field I pass it, but I'm also doing base64 decoding. Ooh, this is kind of cool, right? Splunk, they have Python. Ah, I wish I would have had that one. No. So there's always some type of fallback programmatic language. Like uh, I was recently parsing some Google Cloud logs from one of my clients, and it was this very nasty JSON nested subfields with arrays of arrays, and it is it a mess. And so we had to flatten the data. And what I did is I used Ruby code to grab the arrays and flatten them out so we could properly search in Kibana. So it was the fallback language. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use a tool called CyberChef, for example. CyberChef. And I'm just going to do, this is the most awesome technical breakout ever, right? And I'm going to convert it to base64. That'll be my string. Hopefully this will work. I'm gonna paste it here. Oh, snap, it works. So notice I started with my message. I used a regex of this to grab potential regex, which stored it in this possible base64 code, and then Ruby decoded it for me. This is the most awesome technical breakout ever. So Ruby is the fallback language within Logstash that I can do anything I want that Ruby supports, which most programming languages can do pretty much everything. It's just some are easier at certain things than others. So there's Ruby.